Hey everybody, it's ZJ Fi here. I just wanted to do a uh, video up on uh, to collect my general thoughts on Gear 2.0. I wanted to give this a couple of weeks because I didn't want to rush to judgment on Gear 2.0. I thought this might be good for the game, it might be interesting, uh, and, and I wanted to make sure that I actually experienced the new content with the new gear and gave it a chance to let my builds develop. So I believe it's been uh, pretty close to six weeks since gear point or gear 2.0 dropped and uh, finally my impression with it is I am a little bit disappointed I gotta say um, for several reasons and I'm gonna get into some of those reasons now uh, gear 2.0 has introduced this system obviously anyone who's watching this video knows how gear 2.0 works so I'm gonna go over it really quickly but Gear 2.0 has introduced a system where every single piece has a core attribute, and it's either weapon damage uh, or armor or skill. Now, essentially what this means is that these three roles now compete with each other. And this can be a really, really good thing, or it can be not such a great thing, especially considering some of the monster hybrids that we were able to build uh last year in the in the last the last couple of months of the last year the TU5 TU6 TU7 metas so i want to talk a little bit about how these systems uh are no longer mutually supportive and, and how these systems uh now force you to design your build in one particular way and then i'm going to talk a little bit about uh gear mod skills uh some other interesting changes that have come throughout the meta such as like last lack of holster talents and things like that so uh we'll go ahead and get started uh the biggest the biggest concern that i have with gear 2.0 is that since all of these things compete the hybrid build is essentially dead there is no such thing as a hybrid build because every time you make a compromise or you invest into something that is other than your core attribute, you are reinforcing something that is not worth reinforcing. And I'll explain it a little bit more. So here's an example of a critical hit build. It's all red um, on this particular one, 60% crit chance, 180% crit damage. Great, uh, have weapon damage every single place, right? Ooh, that backpack needs some improvement. I have to farm for that. Weapon damage every single place. This build hits like a freaking truck. Okay, fantastic. Super. Problems. 240 second refill speed on the Reviver Hive. Right? Now, TU5, you would pop some batteries in this thing, and you would instantly have enough skill power to run at least something better than... Uh, you know, 7.8% health, you could put skill haste in these things, sometimes upwards of 150%. Well, no, that, that well, uh, yeah, actually with one battery with a thousand skill power, you could put two 60% skill haste mods, you could run, you know, with about 1200 skill power, you could run side by side 60%, just get 120% skill haste, that, that cuts your, ref your refill speed for each one of these charges all the way down. You can't do stuff like that anymore. Now there are skill tier options which uh, the technician will give you one skill tier with that exception that is the only way in this game to get any one of these core attributes that's not on a piece now what concerns me about this is we have all of these hybrid pieces in the game right we can take a look at some of them as soon as I find one here Okay, here's a Grupo Sombra piece. All right, it runs with weapon damage. That's its core attribute. But you can see it also has skill haste and a utility mod slot. All right, now that makes sense because our talent is designed to work with perfect spark, right? So I'm going to use my skills to damage enemies. That's going to give me weapon damage by 15% for 20 seconds. Okay, so these will help my skills come back faster and whatever I put in the utility mod slot, which these are actually not all that bad, these hybrid pieces. When you, th you know, in principle, when you think about it more deeply, what you'll come to the, where do I put that one? Oh, here it is right here. So 
oops, wrong one. These mods are not all that bad. These are actually some pretty solid mods, you know, 12% skill haste here, whatever. That All that stuff stacks up. But, in the end, this piece is still, its core attribute is weapon damage, right? So if I'm reinforcing anything other than my weapon damage, I'm reinforcing where I'm weak. So no matter how many yellows I stack underneath my core attribute, which is weapon damage, even if I had, even even if I had, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it'd, be, it'd be 12 yellow attributes with three yellow mod slots, I'm going to have some moderately powerful skills, but they're still only going to be skill tier one. And I'm still not going to be able to hit as hard as I would if I had reinforced the red meta. So let's take away all that 60% crit chance and that 178.3% crit damage. Now I'm basically just a guy who has some level. I have, I'm still a guy with tier 1 skills, except I have just weapon damage. I don't have crit or crit chance. Now, 150% on 60% of my shots is so much damage I'm giving up just to reinforce a tier 1 skill. Actually, it'd be a tier, a tier 0 skill unless I unless I went with the technician. It wouldn't even be a it wouldn't even be a full skill. So, it's going to be less than tier 1. It's going to be a really really bad skill. Now, even okay, let's say I did have I did manage to stack 10% skill haste plus 3 10% skill mods. That's 90% skill haste. That's going to bring me down to like 150 seconds on the Reviver Hive, which I guess is good, but what did I just give up? 150% extra damage on 60% of my shots just to have my Reviver Hive come back twice as fast? And it's, you know... Okay, like we're talking about the talent spark here, right? So let's uh, say we wanted to use it on a skill that's actually going to do damage to an enemy. So I'm going to use the striker drone to proc spark, right? It's still going to be a tier zero skill unless I did happen to, uh, like I said, use the technician. So we're not even going to get the 20% striker damage. We will get some skill haste. We might get some skill damage. You could crank up the skill damage, I suppose, uh, in six different places. You could get 60% skill damage and 60% skill haste on all six of your pieces. Plus, your, if you, if you had them all maxed out, 15 times 6 is 90. You'd have 90% additional weapon damage, plus whatever you had in your specialization. But you still would only be able to run these weak little mods, which are not very much, 4.2% 4 4 additional damage. So let's say we're running extra damage. All right, so we're going to be damaging 18,000 plus, let's say, 65% extra damage. That's going to bring it up to, what, 25,000? And it's going to come back really fast, right, because we got all that skill haste. So that's super. Uh, 25,000 damage a shot. Oh, wait a minute. How strong are the enemies in this game? Their health bars are in the tens of millions. It would take this drone insane amounts of time in order to kill an enemy. Okay, yeah, well, we're just using it to proc the spark, right? That's all we're really doing. But the spark is only giving me 15% extra damage for 20 seconds. Why would I invest in that when I could invest in 60% crit damage and a hundred or I'm sorry, 150% crit damage with 60% crit chance. 60% of my shots could hit 150% times harder. It mathematically just doesn't make sense. You would never reinforce anything other than what your primary core attribute is there. Make sense? So if, as I'm looking through my builds here, you'll notice that they're all yellow or all red. There, here is a hybrid. And I'll talk a little bit about that if I have the time. I think I'm getting pretty close to 10 minutes, which is where I like to keep my videos. I'm going to do this in more than one part. But as you can see, almost all of my builds are designed to reinforce the strengths of, of whatever is in that build. Here's another rare exception that I do want to talk about, and that is in a shield build... 
there's another problem. I don't know, know why it will not let me look at this thing. Here we go. In a shield build, you can use blues to activate your skill tiers, but only for the shield, for the shield and shield only. And so that allows you to do a hybrid here with shield health. Now, before I go f and finish up this, this first particular part, apparently I'm going to have to make several videos in this series because I just have a lot of things that I want to talk about. But uh, why am I looking at social? I want inventory. Well, before I go and wrap this particular section up, I do want to talk about uh, some of the things that are good, some of the things that are right with with uh, with Gear 2.0. Some some things that are very very interesting, and some of the things that I think they got right are named gear pieces. Uh, things like Night Watcher. Now I hate that these things have core attributes. But I love that they now have unique attributes like pulse haste. Um, uh, where's the the forge one? Oh, ammo dump has been drastically improved. 10% ammo capacity. Uh, forge is now viable. 10% shield health. There's a lot of really really cool. Uh, there's a lot of really, really cool pieces that exist now, like contractor's gloves, fox prayer knee pads. And of course, they're nerfing all of these, which is the one thing that's actually pretty cool, I think, about Gear 2.0. So I think that's one thing that actually is, is working right. It, I like the firm handshake, extra status effects. I like the uh, motherly love, extra skill health. Uh, another thing that I think is great, I love the new exotic gear pieces. I think are absolutely fantastic. And now I believe there's an exotic for every one. There's an exotic mask, chest, backpack, gloves, knee pads, and two exotic holsters now. We now have this Imperial Dynasty, which is a lot of fun in PvP. A lot of fun in PvP. And uh, one more thing that I do want to say is right, is I love, love the overcharge uh, for skills. And there's two ways you can get it. You can get it for yourself with uh, the Acosta go bag by damaging somebody with the grenade and you can get it with the BTSU skill gloves by uh, detonating your hive and overcharge is fantastic for skill builds I use it in my crowd control this is for legendaries to keep people blind that is fantastic love that uh, yeah I also use the uh, the exotic gloves in the healer build so I can overcharge the crew and in the hardwired build uh, it is just spectacular overcharge. Uh, so there are some good things about Gear 2.0. I've rapidly run out of time already, and I still have so much more to say. So let me know what you guys think. Say something down in the comments. Let me know if I'm totally wrong, totally right, agree with me. But on a whole, just to reprise, I think Gear 2.0 is a little bit of a letdown because it channels you directly into one of these things. And for the reasons I explained earlier, Anytime you're using a hybrid piece, let's say I had one I wanted to talk about the other day. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Something like that or something, uh, you know, something something like this. No, no, not that one. Where did I see it? Yeah, something like this where you've got different it's colors. You are reinforcing something that isn't inherent to your build. Yeah, look at this one. Okay, why would I, why would I want to go tri-colored? It doesn't make any sense because unless I'm going after crit chance, crit damage, it doesn't make any any sense to to put those things on my back. I don't want to reinforce skill damage on what a, a level zero skill. I got no skill tier. Why would I want to reinforce the seven point seven percent or nothing is still nothing, and eighteen thousand health that's absolutely nothing at all. I have 305 starting health, 18,000 isn't even going to get me going. Even if I stacked it on all six pieces, that's still only 120,000. That's nothing. That's not going to help me in any way, shape, or form. So unless I'm stacking health and armor on my core attribute, and I'm going an all blue build, which isn't an option, I'll get more into that in my next video, then uh, I just, I, I don't think it's worthwhile. You have to reinforce your core attribute. There's just no choice. And so it's a completely monochromatic way of building. And I, I really think that they have made this game's target audience about 10 years younger. 
whereas the previous building system, I know it was a little complicated for some people, but it was it was complex, it was in depth, it was uh, a steep learning curve, but you could make it do some really amazing things if you knew what you were doing. You could you could get 3k skill power on just two these two gear pieces alone and then stack weapon damage all around here or special talents that worked across each other from knee pads to mask there's no more talent interaction there's just two talent interactions so next time uh, I'll talk a little bit more about the weapons I want to talk about lack of holster talents I want to talk about the exotic reworks I want to talk about uh, the holster uh, weapon which is basically worthless now and I, I want to talk about the specializations which have been changed a little bit and I definitely want to talk about uh, skills and what's good and what's bad with the new with the new system uh, so thanks so much for watching let me know what you think drop me a message in the uh, in the comments below have a great day